Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to rearrange formulas. Um, it's a really simple skill, if you know how to solve equations then rearranging formulae isn't much harder than that. We'll look at a variety of different examples and then when you've done watching this video uh, click the link in the description which will take you to this page and you can have a go at some questions and see how you get on. Okay so let's get started, we have this formula and we've got some letters here, we've got G equals X plus C and what we've been asked to do is make X the subject okay so actually in all the questions that you'll do in the link you're going to make X the subject so what does that mean well currently G is the subject okay the letter G is on its own so we call that the subject and what we want to do is rearrange this formula so kind of move things around so that X becomes a subject so what we're trying to do is really just get that X on its own well, if you think about how you solve equations, the skill is the same, okay? We want to isolate the x, so we want to get anything that's around it away. So here, the x is being added to c, so we need to get rid of this plus c. So how do we do that? Well, we just take it away to the other side, so g minus c equals x. Now, if you have a look at this, um, we've got the x completely on its own. Okay, it's, it's there, it's on its own, and whatever's on the other side is kind of what's kind of the left. So we have rearranged this formula. We have rearranged this formula to make x the subject. x is on its own. Okay, so what we should do is on the answer line, we should write that. So what is x equal? x is equal to g minus c. Okay, so that's the answer. So we'll press the check button, okay, and wait for the conversion. Okay, and we got it right. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so this is a bit more to it. So, so there's different versions of the answer. We need to get that x on its own. So we need to get rid of anything that's around it. Okay, so first of all, what should we do? Well, x is being divided by 5, but then you're taking away t at the end. So we'll get rid of the minus t by adding it to the other side. So we've got y plus t, okay, and equals x over m. So the x now, oops, the x is there with the m, okay, but we need to try and get the x entirely on its own. So it's being divided by m. So what's the opposite of dividing by m? Well, it's multiplying by m, so we need to multiply the other side by m. But the thing is, though, on the other side, we've got these two things together. So you've got the option of writing the following. So one option is to write x equals m bracket y plus t okay so the m is multiplying the other side okay so actually let me let me write that here so this is one option m bracket y plus t okay and that is the answer technically because look at it the x is on its own now or you can expand the bracket and write m y plus m t so oops t so that's the other answer but let me cross that m out because it's not going to like that okay oops Okay, oops, okay, m, m, y plus m, t. Now, that's another version of the answer. That's just the expanded version of this. Okay, so it's either the top one or the bottom one because the x is on its own, so whatever's on the other side is the rearranged part. So let's check this. Okay, and there we go. Okay, it didn't like that because it didn't like the way I wrote the m. It thought it was an n, but that happens sometimes. Okay, so this one here, right, let's do this last, this this one here. Okay, this one's a bit harder. Okay, the reason why it's harder is because the x is on the bottom of the fraction, okay? Now, there are different tricks to this, and I'm just going to show you kind of like what I would do, okay? So, we want to get the x on its own, but ideally we want the x to be on the top, okay? So, the trick to this is because t is being divided by x, Okay, it's being divided by x. Well, the opposite division is to multiply. So we want to get the x on top. So the, the easiest thing to do is to multiply the x. Oops, sorry, is to multiply the x to the other side. So we just multiply it to the other side. Okay, so this is it. It's t equals mx. Okay, so that's basically multiplying the x across to the other side because the opposite of dividing by x is times by x so what we've done is basically multiply both sides by x so times by x times by x they cancel out and you're left with this here okay but um 
what we want to do is now get the x on its own. But if we look at the right hand side, you've got m times x on the right hand side. So in order to get the x completely on, your own, on its own, we need to just divide by m. So this is the answer, x equals t divided by m. That's the answer. Okay, I'm going to actually cross that out because it's not going to write that like that. I'm going to write the m properly. Okay, so this is it, x equals t divided by m. Now, if you look at really what's going on, okay, what's happened is, is they've kind of just changed places, haven't they, really? Look at it, t over m. They've just changed places, but that's actually what's going on. You multiply the x over, you get that, and then you divide the m to the other side, and you get this. So that's the answer. So let's check it. Okay, wait for the conversion. Okay, and that's it. We've got it right. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, this one's a bit tricky. So a squared minus bx equals y. Okay, this one's a bit difficult. Okay, mainly because you are subtracting the bit that's got the x with it. Okay, and there's a bit of a convention thing which I'll talk about at the end. But okay, so we want to get this x on its own. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we get that x on its own? Well, okay, there's the two options. First of all, we'll get rid of anything around it. So we have to get rid of the a squared first because x is being multiplied by b, but then a squared is subtracting that. So we really should get rid of the a squared. So we'll take it away to the other side. So it's y minus a squared. But on this side, you're left with a minus bx because remember that minus belongs to that b so it's stuck with it there okay that's important now if we want to get the x on its own all we have to do is divide the other side by minus b okay now technically speaking this is the answer because the x is on its own and we've taken this thing here and divided by minus b but the only trouble with this is that um we don't i don't really like minuses on the bottom Okay, don't really like minus on the bottom. So there's a way to correct that because that minus b is a bit ugly being on the bottom. Okay, I don't really normally use that word, but it's not very pretty with the minus b on the bottom. So the trick is um, to, to make it positive on the bottom is you multiply top and bottom by minus 1. Okay, so what you get is on the top. Okay, actually, let me clear that. Let me write that again. So you multiply top and bottom by minus 1. Okay, that's the trick, okay? But what you end up getting is you get x equals, and the whole of the top is going to get multiplied by minus 1. So you get minus y plus a squared over b. Okay, now that's the answer, okay? That's the answer. And that's a nicer answer because there's no negatives on the bottom. So the trick is to times really literally every term by minus one, top and bottom. So you get minus y plus a squared, because if you think about it, two minuses, remember, um, two minuses make a plus. So when, when you multiply that by minus one, it turns into a plus. And when you multiply that by minus one, you get a minus, and then that minus turns into a plus. Okay, so that's, that's kind of what's going on. Okay, but I wanna show you a better way to avoid the kind of having a minus on the bottom like we did there. Okay, so there's a better way to do it, and I'm going to just delete this and do it again. Okay, the trick is, okay, if you want to avoid, oops, if you want to avoid having negatives on the bottom, is that minus bx term is just to add it to the other side, okay? So y plus bx equals a squared. So that's the trick, is, is, to, is to add this term to the other side first, and then look, lo and behold, it's positive, okay? Then, um... You want to get rid of anything around the x, so we get rid of the y first, so we subtract it to the other side, so you get a squared minus y equals bx, okay? And then you just divide by b, so a squared minus y all divided by b. And look, um, let me write that properly, it should be an x, okay, whoops, go away, equals x. Okay, and this is the nice, neater version of the answer. It is equivalent to minus y plus a squared over b, because look at the top, they're both kind of the same, just written backwards. Okay, so if we check that, that's a better version of the answer. And lo and behold, we got it right. Now, the other answer wasn't technically wrong, but this is better because there's no minuses on the bottom. Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, this is the... Um, it's a bit tricky, this one again. Okay, 
And because there's different versions of the answer, now the annoying thing here is that the x is on the bottom, but it's actually parented with this plus t. Those two things are together. Okay. Now, technically speaking, you should write a bracket around these two because those two things have to stay together. The whole denominator is x plus t. Okay. So, um, how do we do this? Well, what we do is we put a bracket around that and we multiply that denominator up. So, we get y bracket x plus t equals m. So, what we've done is, is taken that because m is being divided by x plus t, We've just literally multiplied the other side by x plus t and it's brought it up to the top there, okay? Remember, if you want to rearrange it to get x on its own, the x needs to be on top. So one, the trick is to get this on the top. But the thing is, though, the x is attached to plus t, so the whole thing has to come up to the top. Now, what you have is two options here, okay? Option number one is to expand the bracket. Option number two is just do this, is divide the y over because y is multiplying the bracket then just divide it because the opposite of multiplying is divide it so what you've done here is you've divided uh, because the x because the um, the y is sorry multiplying the bracket we've just divided it to the other side and we've got m over y okay so then what we need to do is get the x on its own so you can just do y m t over y sorry take away the t and there's there's your x on its own okay x is on its own. Now, the second option, okay, let me, let me do it, where can I do it? I'll do it at the top, okay. The second option is to expand that bracket, so you get m equals yx plus yt, and then take away the yt to the other side, so you get m take away yt equals yx, and then, let me, let me delete that bit there, okay, and then divide by y. Okay, there's the other option. Now, both of them are equivalent. So this thing here is equivalent to that. And if you've done some algebraic fraction work, you can easily show why those two things are equivalent. Okay, they're both the elegant answers. They're both quite nice. There's no negatives on the bottom. So that's the option. So the option is, let me, let me delete that. Okay, so when we were at the stage, m equals y bracket x plus t, Okay, so the options were um, you expand the bracket, okay, and you get, and then when you get the x on its own, you get that version, okay. The second option was, uh, so, sorry, the first option that we did was we just divided that y over, and then we got that, and then we get this version, okay. So depending on what you do, whether you expand the bracket, you get that version, okay. Whether you divide by the y first, you get this version. Okay, they're both equivalent to each other. Okay, so let's um, check that. Okay, oh, okay, okay, you didn't like that m <laughs> because it's treated as a capital, but um, that's the answer there. Okay, let's actually just correct that. Okay, so, um, okay, so that's the options there. You either expand the bracket and then get x on its own, or you just divide by the y and then you get that version. Okay. Okay, so what I highly recommend now, guys, is is click on the link in the description and have a go at some of these questions and see how many you get right, okay? Um, please like and subscribe my video. Thank you very much for watching, guys.